Hi, it's Donietta. You guys have been asking and so I'm gonna deliver. Today I'm gonna walk you through my wash and go routine. I have my water bottle with just plain water in it. Duckbill pins that I use to section my hair. For my leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna use the Giovanni Direct Leave-In. This just so happens to be one of my holy grail of leave-in conditioners. Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture gives me the benefit of being a cream that also has oils in it. And my all-time favorite, Kinky Curly Curl and Custard as my styler. I wet my hair to make sure that it's drenched. This helps with the curl definition. And now it's time to apply my leave-in conditioner. I apply this thoroughly but evenly throughout my hair, making sure that I cover all of my strands and I work it in from the scalp to the tips of my hair. Something that I've started doing lately is I take a hairbrush specific for curly hair types and I comb through my leave-in conditioner. My hair is so dense that sometimes I can think that I've covered all of my hair only to part a section and realize that it doesn't have any leave-in conditioner on it. Now I take my Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I'm going to apply this through my hair using the same hand technique as I did with my leave-in conditioner. Everything that I've done so far is important, but this is by far the most important piece of the process. For this step, I'm going to use my duckbill pins to section my hair. I'm sectioning my hair because I really want to work the gel through in smaller sections than I did for the leave-in conditioner and the curl enhancing smoothie. Working the gel through my hair in smaller sections ensures that I coat each strand of my hair with the gel and this is what really adds to my curl definition. It fights frizz and it actually gives me more shine. You won't be able to see this on the back of my hair but I promise you'll be able to see it as I move closer to the front. What I'm doing is I'm taking a small amount of gel and I'm finger combing it through a small section of my hair. I make sure that I start at my scalp and then I smooth the product through with my fingers to the tips of my hair. Okay, it's time for the front. As you can see, I continue to section off small sections of my hair so that I can apply the gel through. I make sure that I start at my scalp and I just smooth the gel through the section of hair that I'm working. After I get it on there, I work it through with my fingers, making sure that I comb it from the scalp to the tips of my hair and that all of the hair in that section is covered. If I feel that my hair is beginning to dry, I re-wet it with the water bottle. What I found is if I don't apply the gel to my hair when it's soaking wet, my hair ends up frizzy and my curls aren't as defined.
Now that I've worked the gel through all of my hair, I take my fingers and I comb my hair in the direction that I want it to lay in once it's dry. Once I've done that, I give my hair a shake out. It's important to let your curls clump together in sections as they naturally would. I go through one last time finger combing to make sure no stray hairs are sticking up and that is pretty much how I want it to be as I begin to let it dry. Alright, I'm back. My hair is dry as you can see and so I wanted to give you guys a final look of what my hair looks like after it is completely dry. And so I hope you can see. My curls are really, really tight, but what I love about Kinky Curly is it gives me good curl definition and it keeps my hair from frizzing. If I were not to use a gel in my wash and go routine and I just tried to use maybe a cream, it absolutely positively would not work out. I've tried it before and my hair personally just doesn't respond that way. So Kinky Curly Gel, um, the curling custard rather, is one of my staple products and I have found that my hair reacts very well to that. And so again, I'll put some pictures at the end so that you all can see, but I just wanted to give you a look of my wash and go. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In addition to subscribing, please turn on your notifications because if you don't turn on your notifications, you won't know when I've uploaded a new video. And what's the fun in that, right? Please pass this video on to anybody that you know that might like it or find it helpful. Also ask them to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on their notifications. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day.